Anyway. Now, there's a lot of things that I really want to say right now at the moment. In response to the past two Rob videos. Or Aaron Jacob videos. No, I'm really feeling them. Like, I've been telling you guys that, but... This guy took statism, all the problems I had with statism, and managed to create a form of statism that didn't have these problems. That's pretty fucking interesting. That is pretty fucking amazing. There's no bureaucracy, there's no conflicts of interest, it's basically... What I said, where a government is basically just another institution with its own function, except in this case it's monocentric and thus a state with its political alpha male. And that's fucking cool. Now, I might be okay with this, this formalism, or in this case, subformalism, because there's some corporate government thing mixed in with it. However, that doesn't mean that all my fans will be, like the people that subscribe to me and are into my videos. Some of them have different principles than mine. Some of them are... Some of them are non... They have the NAP, they are, they're voluntarists. Or they have something similar to voluntarism in the sense that they're classical liberals. Or maybe they're leftists. Maybe they're like anarcho socialists. You know, I don't have a problem with leftism. And that might bother some fans, and that might surprise other fans. Kind of like I don't have a problem with the right. And I expect the same kind of respect from both sides. A great level thing is I just don't like social denigration because even in social denigration there's advantages but like there's stuff I don't like about it that outweighs what I would like about it you don't want to be in a society that's denigrating and turning worse and worse and worse because even though it sounds more interesting on paper you don't want to be there when the fucking riots start breaking out. Other than that, like... Hmm... I'm feeling fucking Gras video. It's an alternative... Alternative shit to minarchism. And... He basically said that minarchism... Eventually, by trying to limit government, you're actually raising the bureaucracy. So it's... In a way... Because there is this monarch who can explicitly do whatever fuck he wants. He has to open up various bureaucracies that are extensions of whatever the fuck he wants. And it just creates more and more of that statism I always complain about. However, other than that, if your principles are basically voluntarist and or you're a lefty, and there are lefties that don't follow the NAP. So, but they have other principles that this would sort of violate. If you're that kind of person, if maybe you're against any hierarchy or thing where one person is of a higher rank than another, then maybe um, it's not for you. And if it's that way, then there's nothing wrong with it. I mean... You got guys like Rocky Mr. E, something C, um, and various other people that have principles that make it so that they won't enjoy this. And on the other hand, on the leftist side, you have some like that too. So I don't get why like some people like unsub to me because like they think I lean toward one side too much. I'm not trying to be in the middle ground to satisfy everybody, but I'm trying to be in the middle ground because I want to see what everybody is doing, what everybody is saying, and kind of take on an intellectual movement from there, try to see how society can 
work under various conditions because basically cultures there's no such thing as an unnatural culture this is true and it's kind of obvious so if there's various cultures out there it's not something that's artificial and it's something that you gotta observe from the outside kinda like it's a natural phenomenon maybe ideology reflects that so that's just me saying shit so I don't want I don't want to hear shit like this like people labeling me and shit and this isn't about me this is about Aaron Jacobs and what he's done it's fucking brilliant he's managed to introduce me to new concepts and that's good cuz when I'm being introduced to new concepts or being introduced to what I already know but as a principle then I basically grow as a person because I can mature you mature more when ideas start to connect more and you can see how things are much less hopeless than it actually seems how uh, there's actually hope maybe not for you maybe not for somebody else maybe not for us but in a relative sense and in an objective sense there is a hope it's sort of this thing that came out in the end of Pandora's box and that's all fucking interesting shit so hopefully Aaron Jacobs will make more videos like this the past two videos and you guys can understand where he's coming from if you don't agree because of your principles and you can find a way to make your principles and apply them to an idea that's even better for you and you probably do there are voluntarists and shit like that the ANCAPs alright anarcho-socialists and shit like that I don't, don't want to fucking bore you guys so this is it video over and shit this is Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick